Hello, and welcome to another edition of Kryptonite. Today, I'm with Leo. How are you doing today, Leo? Very well. Thank you so much, Colton. And uh, welcome back to everybody to Kryptonite channel. So today we talk about uh, Uniswap. Can you tell us something about Uniswap, an introduction? Yeah, so Uniswap... Thank you very much. Uniswap is a decentralized exchange. So what that means is, is users can swap ERC-20 tokens for another ERC-20 token, and there is no need for a centralized intermediary. Traders do not have to deposit their tokens on an exchange, which essentially equals exposed to the security risk of a centralized exchange. UNI is the governance token, and it was introduced on September 16th, 2020. Uh, it was a kind of a retrospective airdrop to users who have interacted with the protocol by either swapping tokens or by providing liquidity. Allows token holders to participate in the governance, key decisions, uses of the treasury, or future upgrades by a governance vote. Thank you very much, Colton. Uh, what about something regarding to the history and performance of this uh, project? Ye yes, so it was originally founded by Hayden Adams in 2018. It was mainly inspired by Ethereum's technology, first described by co-founder, and I'm probably going to butcher this name, Vitalik Buterin. With Uniswap, you know, users can just need an Ethereum wallet and they can immediately start swapping tokens. You can swap tokens directly without the need of an order book using an automated market maker such as an AM, where liquidity, liquidity providers deposit tokens into the smart contract. This liquidity when, when then provides a price quote to traders without relying on any professional market makers. Liquidity providers are compensated with about a 0.3% trading fee for providing liquidity on the protocol. So uni tokens, they can be traded, traded on any centralized crypto exchange. The most popular is Bing X. Other popular options are Gate.io and Whitebit. The all-time high price was about $44.92 and this was on May 3rd, 2021. The all-time low price was a dollar and three cents, and this was on September 17th, 2020. It has a market cap of about 3.8 billion right now, a to uh, 3.8 million, a total supply of 1 billion, a max supply of 1 billion, and a circulating supply of about 753 million right now. Market sentiment right now of Uniswap is bullish, just so you guys are aware. Thank you very much, Colton. And now, can you tell us something about on-chain data and a comparison with uh, Ethereum? Yeah, so as you guys can see here, you know, with Uniswap, the real volume is down for the past month for about 54%. Ethereum's real volume for the past month is down about 39%. The active address count is down about 0.55% for Uniswap. And for Ethereum, it is down actually almost almost 5%. The transaction volume, as you can see here for Uniswap, is down 41% for the past month. And the transaction volume for Ethereum is down about 16%. Thank you, Colton. And what about some latest news? Yeah, so volumes on centralized exchange declined after Binance and OKX were affected, while activity on decentralized exchange actually increased when this happened. Spot trading on Binance and OKX decreased about about, about 47% and 36% respectively over the last month. Future trading volumes on both exchanges also dropped by 24% and about 22% respectively. The declining trading volume on C uh, centralized platforms negatively affect their market cap and the number of active addresses is transferring their tokens. Decentralized exchanges like Uniswap and SushiSwap experienced significant growth during this activity. Uniswap saw about a 87% increase in activity uh, act, active addresses and an 87% rise in fees generated by the protocol. SushiSwap's daily activity on a decentralized exchange surged by 25%, which is equal to a 10% increase in revenue generated by the protocol. However, decentralized tokens market cap declined and their velocity, basically the token trading frequency also fell. The exchange's net, uh, net flow position change of uni reached a yearly high, which essentially means more token flowing into exchanges than out. The net position change alone does not provide a conclusive indicator of market 
direction or investor sentiment. The network value transaction signal increased. The uni value was inflated considering the current market cycle. The relative strength index was about 40 to 42, which is no strong support for bullish momentum in a closer, closer bearish state. Activities on the Uniswap exchange have slowed down from previous highs due to a drop in mean value and trading triggering in, in trading triggering a downturn. Thank you very much, Colton. And what about some options to stake Uniswap? Yeah. So again, you know, as Boris has stated, you know, multiple times, it's very scary world to do anything on, you know, uh, you know, a platform, a centralized platform. You know, it there is some benefits as you guys can see in the picture. You know, uh, U holder gives you about you know a fourteen percent uh, APY, but Nexo, for example, zero point zero one, or Coin Rabbit is zero percent, or you know, it, uh, or Compound is about five point or six percent. So take it with a grain of salt. Do your own research on staking. Is it really worth the extra zero point zero zero one percent? who knows you know um but at the end of the day some people do like to stake so you know if you do and you're one of those people get on discord get on twitter um get on youtube you know go watch some videos go look at some groups inside discord just do your research before you just jump right into staking so like i said you know here's some more examples uh you know uh, of uh the the apys this will be in the powerpoint this will be shared so you can take a look at this you then can go to uh you know these companies and figure out what's best for you and how you want to move forward thank you very much colton what about the price prediction for uniswap uni uh, for the next few years. Yeah, so you know, this is you know a pretty conservative. You know, we can't control. We don't. We can't see the future in terms of what's going to happen with economies, what's going to happen with government debts. You know, etc. There's a lot of external factors out there that play a big factor in this. But by 2024, we can see it. You know, going from you know we can actually from I mean sorry from 2024 to 2030, we can see about a 15x. Uh, realistically, in 2024, we're looking at anywhere between about $11 and about tw uh, about $13. In 2026, we're looking at from about $21 to $23. And in 2028, we're looking anywhere from about $25 to $47. And in 2030, you know, we're hoping to be anywhere between $50 and $100. And again, you know, a lot of times people will comment, you know, put stuff on here and say, you know, these are very conservative. Well, yes, because there's so many external factors. Like I said, we can't control a lot of things. We think this project has very, very good uh, potential, especially with what's every going with, with everything going on with centralized exchanges in general. So, you know, <clears throat> we're not praying for the downfall of a centralized exchange, of course. But, you know, if we have another hiccup such as, you know, an FTX or something like that, you're going to see decentralized exchange exchanges skyrocket because that that way you know you're controlling your money you know what's happening to it you're not going to lose you know your whole portfolio or anything like that so there are very big benefits to having a decentralized exchange but again at the end of the day you know we could be seeing a 15x here by 2030 very easily and you know if if we're going off of just opinion and how we you know we think the future is decentralized exchanges. It's not centralized exchanges. So if that's the case, you know, right now the centralized exchanges are dominating, you know, the market there, they're buying each other out essentially, you know, but you know, as time goes on and people are like, Hey, you know, why are we doing this? Why do we have our money here? You know, it's inevitable. Another company is going to go down. Another centralized exchange is going to go down and that's just going to drive the price of Uniswap up. So from my side, that's all I really have today. I wanted to say, thanks, Leo. Please don't forget to like, and subscribe and comment on the video. But again, that's it for today. And thank you again, Leo. Thank you very much, Colton. And bye-bye to everybody and see you for our next video. I hope this video helps. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And if you like the video at the end, click on the thumbs up.